Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's Halloween video, I am going to be doing the can in the eye. So I do have a full face of makeup on here. I'm taking my makeup eraser towel and first just removing one side. You don't really have to be too precise just because there's going to be blood dripping down anyway. And then I have a can. You can take whatever you want, beer can, soda can. I took a soda Sierra Mist can and cut it in half and then I started bending it a little bit. So once it's cut in half, just be careful that the edges aren't too sharp and you're going to want to place it where you want it on your eye. And then just with a eyeliner pencil, I shaped around the can and then I'm going to be taking some liquid latex, the Ben Nye, and we're going to trace it around with that. I have already told you guys multiple times that liquid latex is going to ruin your brushes. So either use something that you don't care too much about or if you are going to be using liquid latex on a brush that maybe you do care about try and wash it as soon as you're done because it's not going to come off i have already ruined so many brushes and that's just a tip from a learning experience and then with some cotton i just took regular cotton balls i pulled it into pieces and i'm going to put that right on top of the liquid latex <laughs> So now that we've got all the cotton where we need it to be, I'm going to take the same brush I was using before, more liquid latex, and we're just going to coat all of the cotton. I think what's really nice about using cotton for this instead of toilet paper is that we don't have to do multiple layers since the cotton is so thick. Once that is completely coated, I'm going to take the can, place it exactly where I want it to be. And then because this can is going on my face, it's not going to lay flat. So with some cotton, I'm going to put it where I can either see holes or feel liquid latex going through my face. And then this is going to also help stick it on so that way it won't fall off. Try your absolute best not to get any liquid latex in your hair because it does hurt really, really bad once you pull it off. So now that I've got the cotton, I put another layer of liquid latex. I let it dry. You guys can either wait and be patient, but since I'm not, I use the blow dryer. And once you can actually feel it and it's not sticky anymore, you can put some foundation on. So at first I tried to use a beauty blender, but that just was not working. So I used a small brush and I started blending it on the latex and then also up the can. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. And with this color, it has a lot of red undertones to it and we want to make it look bruised. So on the inner part closest to the can, I'm going to take that, place it all the way around. And then with a dark brown, we're going to use that on the outer part furthest away from the can. Now for blood, I'm taking the Ben Nye Thick Blood and you're going to want to put this on the inner part closest to the can. So with this kind of blood, if you only use a little bit, it starts to look too red, almost pink, and it just doesn't look realistic. So definitely take a brush, use thick amounts, and put that in the inner part of the can. And it just makes it look a lot darker, thicker, and more realistic. And then with the Ben Nye Dark Blood, you're gonna take that and you just wanna make drips. So you can put it wherever you'd like, with this container, it makes it really easy because if you just squeeze it out, the blood will just start to drip down. And that's exactly what it did with my face. I think this is the best part and the funnest thing of the whole look. So I just want you guys to enjoy it, maybe as much as I do, which sounds really weird because it's blood. But I'm just going to play the music and let you watch. So 
so this completes my look for the can in the eye i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you are subscribed to my channel because i am uploading a new video every day in october this month i love you all so much and i will see you tomorrow Thank you.